So I was talking with Noah and Nadine and I was asking them if there was something that I could make for them. And Noah said that he wanted a panda that was holding a Captain America shield. He's into pandas right now and Captain America. So we Googled those things and surprisingly enough, there's a lot of stuff with pandas and Captain America, but this is what he chose. This panda and it's holding a heart. So I found this Captain America and I thought I would just, uh, you know, do it like that sort of a deal. So yay. I found some walnut and holly, which I thought would be great for, you know, the dark and the light. And then I'm not sure what to use here for the red. And then I, I don't have a blue color. I have blue pine, but that's gray. But anyway, I'll think about that, figure out what I want to do there. But yeah, let's get started. So I traced the picture to make a pattern and cut out each piece, putting the darks with the walnut and the lights with the holly. I decided to use paduk for the shield reddish part. I also put blue tape on the wood and then glued the paper pieces to the tape. Then off to the scroll saw. Recently, I went through all of my blades and organized them by wood thickness that they cut. This has made it so easy for me to grab a blade without having to read all the packages to see which one I should use. Before, I usually ended up just grabbing one and using whatever I grabbed. But since I have this new organized blade system, I have had a lot less problems with blade breakage and issues with cutting wood. Well, why did it take me so long to figure this out? Anyway, back to the panda. So I got just about everything cut out and started working on the shield. I did all of this with the star and then later remembered that the shield needed one more piece. So all that I did here was not needed, but the star did look cool inside of the circle. Then I removed most of the paper and the tape. The sun just came out. Woo! Yeah, Wally, the sun just came out. Since the sun is coming out, I'm thinking I could sand outside. Yeah! So I took the sander outside and I used a 80 grit to rough shape everything. Hey, I just thought of something. My hobby bench is on wheels. I think I'll bring it out here. <gasps> yeah. Yay. It was pretty easy to pull my hobby bench out here. Yay, cool. It was so nice outside. So with my hobby bench out there, it was very easy to use the 100 grit to finish up the shaping. Then another day, it wasn't so nice. So I was back inside sanding with the 150 and the 220. I thought this project was going to be easy, but it was not. Trying to fit the pieces together and these shield pieces together was quite the chore. I suppose I could have used some kind of circle jig to make the shield easier, so maybe I'll do that next time. But this time I did a lot of finagling, and still it is not gap free, but I think it turned out okay to look at. I thought about printing Noah and doing the toner heat transfer like I do the verse on the back, but I decided to cut the letters out of wood instead. The paws and the pod pads were tough. Again, circles in circles. Then I got to thinking about the shield and I remembered that there was a little more to it. So I Googled to look at its colors and decided to use blue pine after all to go where the blue is. What I saw I needed to do was add the circle around the star. It's really just five triangles of blue. So I had to remove the paduk and then cut the blue pine. And that worked out pretty well. And now to try it in the circle. Whew! And yay! Are you getting comfortable, kids? Wallers, you guys comfortable? You good boys. Good doggies. Yeah, good doggies. The blue pine was thicker wood, so I double taped the whole thing to a piece of wood so I could sand it together. And that worked well. and I was tickled by the image left on the tape after removing the pieces from it. 
I cut out the backer with hardboard and checked the fit. I added the mouth by using that toner heat transfer and then while I had everything out, I added a verse to the back. I chose Genesis 715, which says, Every creature that had the breath of life came to Noah in the boat in groups of two. And I thought that fit perfectly. I added a hanger and thought it would be really cool to change the eyes. So I traced the eye holes onto some purple heart, then cut them out on the scroll saw, then shaped and sanded them. Then I glued it all to the back of board with wood glue. I usually use a small paintbrush to spread the glue, but for some reason I used my fingers this time. I spun the shield around quite a bit to try and make the gaps toward the top so that the letters of Noah's name would cover it. And that worked pretty well. And I did use a small brush to do some glue cleanup. All right, I'm gonna put uh, some Danish oil on this and then I think I'll do a spray of uh, polyurethane over that after it dries. But I'm really excited about this. Whoa, too much, too much. I've really been into Danish oil lately and just learned the ingredients to be boiled linseed oil, polyurethane, and mineral spirits. So maybe I'll be making my own here real soon. Once it was all dry, then I put a coat of polyurethane over the top. Well, I thought I'd try one more thing on the panda. It's pretty much done, but I thought I'd add some little eye reflections with some acrylic white paint. The panda's all done. It's all dry and I hope no one likes it. I used uh, holly, walnut, paduke, and blue pine and then put it on a hardy hardboard backer and then I changed the eyes up and made them um, with Purple Heart. So thanks for watching me everybody and we'll see you next time. Bye! Is that comfortable, Wally? Yeah. Good puppy dogs. You're the good puppies.